And just a few more, kind of some bonuses for you. Right click, create, new 3D animation. Come up to Beyond 3D, File, New. And I'll show you some other pretty cool tools involving both curves and surfaces. So if we come over here to Curve, say Create an Empty Curve, I'm going to come over here into the front view this time. Click, 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 draw something like a poor man's wine glass. Then come over here to Surfaces and click on this button right here, Create Lathe. It automatically creates this lathe surface for us which now we can use the size tool and make that smaller. And here's our little 3D wine glass, just that quick. Pretty cool. Now, in fact, what we've got is two things. <laughs> we got our 3D wine glass and we got our source curve. And we can get rid of this one of two ways. We can either come over here and say, we don't want it to be visible in the renderer. Maybe we don't even want it to be visible in the editor. It might be kind of confusing. Or there's a cooler thing that you can do, which is this. Beyond 3D was smart enough to know that the very first thing you did was draw a curve and the next thing you did was draw a lathe. Probably you wanted that curve to be the thing to lathe. But it doesn't have to be that way. What you could do is unlink here, uncheck this, and then if you drag and drop this curve right there, it will use that curve as the basis of the lathe and it won't have this crazy extra thing in the renderer that you have to deal with. So that's how you can create a 3D wine glass. That's pretty cool. So, file new. So another thing we'll do is we'll come over here to curve, click on this, maybe change it to a pentagon come back over here to surfaces and try this one called extrude it will automatically create a 3d pentagon for you and obviously you can create your own empty curve a circle whatever you wanted to do that's how you cre create an extrude object and just like we did with the lathe what you could do is say don't use a linked curve but rather drag and drop use that curve and it just makes things a little bit easier. So I'll say File, New, turn on the laser output. We'll do one more. Come over here to Curve, create an empty curve. In this case, I'm going to do it in the top view. And we'll create something like a swimming pool shape. We want the curve to be closed, like that. And now we'll say on surfaces, to extrude that, come over here and make that surface a bit smaller. And just because I don't really like those linked curves, we'll just do that. And so there's our 3D, might be a steak, might be a swimming pool, might be a lima bean, something like that. 3D object, extruded object. Now one of the things you'll notice is these extra lines here, we can get rid of that by controlling how the laser interprets that. In this case, what we'll do is we'll turn off creases and have only the silhouettes and the folds. If we want, we could put some contour lines on there this way. If, however you would want to interpret that in laser, you can. Maybe that's not bad. So, once again, render it. Send it beyond. There's our swimming pool or lima bean or steak.